Hey everybody. This is a 65 gallon tank that I use as a reservoir for my RO water and I've been using a lot of brackish water tonight and I use my RO water here to make up my brackish water. So I'm trying to get the tank topped back off or at least as filled up as I can before I go to bed tonight. I'm definitely going to make sure I get this valve turned off. One of these days I'll put a float valve in here but in the meantime, I just have a mechanical valve that I have to close. If I forget, I will actually flood uh, the basement. I've done it more than once. I've done it way too many times, which is why I need to get a float valve in here. But what I want to point out is how wasteful RO water is. See if you can hear the water trickling in there. I don't know if you can hear that or not. I can barely hear it, but it's just a little, little trickle of water coming in through that line. And where that is originating is if we follow the line all the way around here. This is my RO filters. Now, I do not have an RO DI. The deionizer actually removes those last few dissolved solids that are in the water. This system, or any other basic RO system, will remove 90 to 95 percent of the total dissolved solids in the water. So what your starting water is, is going to determine what your finished product is. But the thing I really wanted to mention and talk about is the way this filter works. It's not like those filters you have in like the iced tea pitcher or whatever. You pour a gallon of water in and you got to wait and eventually a gallon of water drips through the bottom and you've got a gallon of water. This doesn't work that way. This has water pushing against these little um, fine filters and it also has water pushing past them that removes all of the stuff that doesn't make it through the filter. So it's kind of like self-cleaning as it goes. But what you wind up having is this little hose comes over here and winds up going down the drain. And now listen to this one. That one's just pouring away. So these systems are 75% inefficient. In other words, for every one gallon of RO water I collect, I dump three gallons of water down the drain. So if I had a 50 gallon tank that I wanted to fill, I would have to go through 200 gallons of water to get that 50 gallon tank filled. So that's just something to keep in mind if you're in an area where you're restricted on water or you're even just limited on water, whether you're actually physically restricted or not. Um, they're really, really wasteful systems. So keep that in mind that if you do go with a simple RO system, they are only about 25% efficient. You're gonna dump three gallons of water down the drain for every one gallon of RO water you produce on the other end. And even then, you're only gonna reduce your total dissolved solids by 90 to 95%. You do not end up with completely pure water on the other end. So there's your little reminder about RO water. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you real soon in the next one.